students continue to use the number path to generate numbers that are one more than or one less than a given number. Review what it means to generate numbers that are one more than or one less than a given number. Using number cards, model a given number such as 16. Notice the number path to 20 is being used again where 1 to 10 are shaded gray. Model this number on the number path by placing a cube on the number 16. As students identify a number that is one more or one less, encourage either counting on from 16, 16, 17, or counting backward from 16, 16, 15. Once these numbers are generated, students are to use comparative language to describe these numbers in relationship to one another. 15 is one less than 16. 17 is one more than 16. A connection is made between a number path and a hundreds chart. We can continue to generate numbers that are one more than or one less than a given number. Present the number path that is shaded gray for the numbers 1 to 10 and white for the numbers 11 to 20. Bring the shading to students' attention once again as a hundreds chart will be created using these parts of the path. Cut the number path in between 10 and 11 and put these paths one on top of the other. Show a hundreds chart and explain how these two rows of the number path are the same as the top two rows of the hundreds chart. Using number cards again, model a given number such as 12 by placing a transparent counter on the hundreds chart. As students identify a number that is one less or one more, encourage counting on from 12, 12, 13, or counting backward from 12, 12, 11, and placing counters on those values. Once these numbers are generated, students are to use comparative language again to describe the numbers. 11 is one less than 12, 13 is one more than 12. When students are generating numbers that are one less, do not select zero as the given number. However, 20 may be the given number. Utilize the hundreds chart to support counting forward and backward by ones. Point out to students that when we get to 10 or 20 on the hundreds chart, the next number in the counting sequence starts on the next row.